Morning, everybody. Monday morning here. Uh, grain quotes right now. Corn down five, beans down seven, wheat down nine. Bank volatility continues to really run the headlines in here right now. Continuing, though, quickly with the grain side, we've got Brazil soybean harvest at about 65% compared to 70% last year. I think um, market um, traders are going to be watching here on, on the U.S. side if China is going to come back and continue to buy corn here in the U.S. as we remain competitive on the global market. And Brazil uh, is slow to harvest their crop and, and slow to get their second crop harvested. Grains could be a little weaker this morning based on some rain in Argentina, but at this point, you got to wonder if the drought's already in place uh, and that this is going to be more, uh, more too little too late. Um, going ahead here, Credit Suisse was the and getting a bailout. Um, you kind of got to look here, U.S. bonds, the two-year yield uh, chart up here right now is really falling off. I mean, we were up at almost 5%. You can see it's down, down to 37 here this morning. You got to wonder if this is a little bit of a flight um, to safety, if you will, as, as risk off um, comes into play here with the point being that people move their money to U.S. bonds as a safety net um, uh, in times of turmoil. We'll see. Here's the 10-year chart real quick. This has gone on to make some new recent lows in here too, down to 3.4%. Um, and that spread actually, the inversion between that 2 and 10 has also started to narrow up. So um, kind of interesting to watch in here. We don't really have a good basis or bias either direction. Obviously, there's some volatility and some uncertainty out there. So um, again, going back to what you would consider normal conditions when that's going on, typically money gets moved into U.S. bonds as a, as a valve of safety, if you will. Um, another chart we're watching here this week and this morning, crude came in this morning already and made new lows. This could pressure the corn market. Um, you know, that yellow line here is where the strategic reserves um, an area that, that the U.S. should be buying. So we'll see if we can get some support in here. But again, when you see crude start to weaken up, usually that is also an indicator of economic uh, uncertainty and decline. So, um, I mean, we'll see what we'll see what plays out before the grain markets. This could certainly pressure corn. Lastly, coming over soybean futures here, new crop $13 this morning to get started. I think this is a chart that a lot of people are going to be watching if beans are going to new crop beans are going to break lower or not. Um, obviously, looking left on the chart in hindsight, there's plenty of good values up there. We were aggressive sellers up at 14. Um, we'll see if that ends up working out well or not. We've got the whole growing season ahead of us. So, um, but with that in mind, we do you know, offer a daily market report, uh, subscription service. If you'd like a two week free trial, check out uh, the link in the description below. We were happy to send you a, a free trial to that report. Um, and uh, that'll wrap things up here for today with what we're watching. We hope everybody's able to get just a little bit better again this week. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow with our um, full webinar. And then Wednesday, we'll be back with the, with the midweek wrap up. Everybody have a great week. Uh, thank you for tuning in.